What is up, everybody? Under Average Joe here. We are back with our NHL 14 uh, Detroit Red Wings BAGM commentary series. And I'm sorry if uh, it was a little loud a couple seconds ago because I was hitting the microphone. How professional. But um, we have made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. No, wait, finals, <laughs> the Stanley Cup playoffs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'm hoping to get to the finals, that'd be great. But uh, last episode, we finished our regular season, we went over Boston's roster, um, and we do not have home ice advantage. I looked and hold up for two seconds. Team standings, um, Eastern Conference, while well, we were eighth in the league, which is great, uh, Clinching the conference, we were really far off. Tampa Bay did really well this season. And, uh, I'm not, actually, I'm not 100% familiar yet with how teams are seeded with the new wild card system and all that. I don't even know yet. But, um, yeah, we are up against, uh, Boston for this one. I, mean, I don't know how it's going to go along after that. But, yeah, we were third in the conference, which is still really good. We were almost. Look, look, look how big the gaps are, all right? So, all right. Actually, this race is pretty close. All right. Toronto missed it by two points. Uh, well, they would have tied, but Ottawa would have gotten in because they have more wins. Uh, Washington, Montreal are close. They were tied here. But then such a huge jump from Carolina, the Islanders, then from us to Boston, Boston to Tampa Bay. Huge jumps there. Let's not waste any more time. Let's make sure that... uh. We've got Howard in net. I don't want Mrazek taking this one. Uh, because I honestly, I don't have faith in him in the playoffs. I mean, regular season is a whole different story. He can play in the regular season. I don't care. But this is major deep stuff. All right, so we're going to manually sim it period by period. And the first, ooh, they come out strong. Tyler Sagan with two goals. Zetterberg with one, which is good because Zetterberg just came back from injury not too long ago. So good for him. Uh, second period. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that's Jared Stahl on oh, Chris Kunitz and oh. All right. Uh, for this one, I'm not gonna take it minute by minute because I think we all know what the result's gonna be. Yeah, a Boston four to one victory. Um, <sighs> my thing is, they well, they kind of beat us. Actually, yeah, they beat us by we had 99 points, so they beat us by. Eight points, which is still significant enough to be a big difference maker. Uh, they got six more wins than us, I believe. Uh, oh, that's going to get So our first line is producing, which is good. But I thought our depth would definitely beat theirs. But I mean, I guess they're second in the conference for a reason, you know. Um, uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, oh, it looks like Marchand got into a fight. That's like, what we want to see. He got in a fight against his old team. He's agitating against his old team. Uh, sim both games, sure. Alright, game two. We need to come right out of the gates here. Ooh, nothing. Alright, get ready for second period. I want a Detroit goal. Oh, ho, ho. Chris Kunitz on Jimmy Howard. Alright, we're going to take it minute by minute out for this one. Power play, come on. Nothing on it. Alright, halfway, come on. We just need one goal. One goal tied up. We can take it to OT. We can take it from there. Yes, yes. Empty netter with one second left to go. Patrice Bergeron puts it away. I am not going to have this series be a sweep. If we get swept, oh, oh, oh there's no telling what I'm going to do. I'm going to rage for days. Whew. You don't even want to see the half of it. All right, so look, look how badly they're out shooting us. That is a huge, huge thing. Ugh, that's horrible. Um, we need to figure out a way around this. Let's see. Um, down two games. I don't want to shift up the lines and then have us lose a third game that'll put us in a 3 nothing deficit. But if we don't shift them up, there might be a 3 nothing deficit. Let's see what we can change here. Um, do you know what? I'm going to put faith in Johansson. This is going to be Johansson's time to shine. Oh, that makes me nervous. It really does. All right, defense. Anything we can do on defense? Uh, let's put. You know what? I'm putting Kindle up. Just because the Kaiser's plus minus was off, was it? How bad was it at the end of the season? Um, it wasn't even that bad. I can't even blame it on him. Oh, I don't even know what to do. 
I'm putting my faith in Johansson on this one. We traded so much for Johansson. I guarantee it. I'm personally saying it right now. Now with these last two games. Here, we're going to look up Johansson's stats right now. If he doesn't make a contribution, I'm trading him. Flat out. He has not worked for us all season. And he, he's just done a rubbish job for us. And if he can't carry, if he can't step it up in the playoffs, I see no point in keeping him, honestly. That's how, I'm getting fired up over this. This is, uh, regular season is not too bad. But when playoffs come around, who? let's see. Yeah, it's easy. Only, only three people have points. All right, so one, uh, Johansson. Yeah. Nobody's doing anything. That's the problem. I mean, even, uh, Nobody's, uh, this is going to get me all sorts of fired up. First period, nothing. Oh, ho, ho. second period. Oh, ho, ho. one to one. Ryan Johansson. Ryan freaking Johansson. What did I tell you? All right. Oh, that might be a difference maker. There we go. He just earned his paycheck. All right, let's go. One goal. One goal is all we need. Yes! Yes, short-handed goal for Valtteri Filipula. There we go. Is that going to do it? Yes! We are 2-1. to one. Same thing right now. It's going on in a real NHL. Detroit's down by one game. Oh, this is this is great. Oh, Johansson came through. Filipula on that third line. Actually, maybe having Tarasenko on that third line is going to spark that line. Get Tarasenko and... Uh, I mean... Get, uh, Tarasenko can get Filipula and Anderson going, and hopefully Johansson can add a little playmaking to uh, Marchand and Krejci. Hopefully get them going, but a shorthanded goal to win the game, that's what I want to see. Especially because Boston's known for having a uh, fairly good pen of the kill. I mean, they have defensemen like Hamilton, you know, um, and uh, yeah, their defensive core is whew, nothing to be trifled with. Oh, uh, That makes me so excited, the fact that we did that. Why isn't it not loading? This is... Ooh, but we only outshot them by two uh, two shots. But hey, we were outshot the first two games, meaning the games we're out shooting them, we're winning. You know, maybe it's just the, the luck of Joe Lewis Arena. Um, yeah, assist there. Cronwall there. Alright, so we have our top guys working on Cronwall picked up two assists. That's good to see. Uh, you know, Cronwall is... Probably the biggest backbone of this team. I mean, you can have good offense all you want, but you need a rigid defense, you know. And Cronwall is that guy. He can hit. He can get down low in the corners, and he can he can pass it when he wants to. He can move the puck still. Um, Rachel seventy seven. Wow. All right. Uh, how are they doing down there in the minors? Oh, they're gonna. Oh no. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think their thing's over yet. No, their playoffs haven't even started yet. All right, game four. Who? This is a must-win for us. All right, first period, nothing. Oh, uh, raising the stakes. Second period, nothing. <laughs> We're out shooting them though. All right, we need a big one here. Early in the period for us. Uh, yes, Ryan Johansson. Ryan Johansson. He's gonna carry us through this series. Oh my God. Chris Kunitz. All right, we need to shut down Kunitz. We're not. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No power play. Power play. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Stupid penalties. No, I, I want to see what those penalties are for in overtime. If it's like tripping or something like that, I'm going to get so pissed. I'm going to get. Oh. Because, you know, I, that's how. Games are won and lost off of stupid mistakes like that. Hold up. Penalty summary. First period. Overtime. Slashing. We got called for slashing. Hooking. Again, are you serious? Look at look how many goal. Uh, look how many penalties Aginla's taken. Him and Kindle both. Oh my God. Oh no. We've come this far. We have come this far. We came back in our in our regular season to you know we we were doing so bad and then we really stepped up our game. This is a team I really wanted to see succeed. And if oh come on, do not do this. All right, is Howard in net? That's gonna be 
Come on, we cannot get. Oh, uh, no! I'm switching up the lines. Yeah. Um, stat central. Team standings. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, not team standings. Whoop! That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to player stats playoffs. NHL. What's if this a load? We'll scroll over to Beginla and see what his stats look like. Uh, one point. Thir Thirteen penalty minutes. Thirteen. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Get me fired up. All right, who can we put up there? Uh, do you know what? I'm putting Johansson up there. I'm putting the big man up there. Oh, uh, you want pressure? I'm gonna give him pressure. He's gotten two goals. He's so far. He's carrying us in this series. All right. I mean, before I had no faith in him, but he's coming up big. Um, again, his stupid, stupid penalties. Let's see. Um, is that all? Kindles make me mad. Let's put uh Koliakovo up there instead of Kindle. Uh, cause if we lose, you know, it, it doesn't matter anyways. Cause if we don't shift him up, we're gonna lose. If we shift him up, there's a chance we're gonna lose. At least this is, you know, we tried. We tried everything. All right, we're going in. Oh, we're going to Boston. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's it. All right, we lost. That's our season right there, boys. Oh my god. Damn it. Excuse my French, but I'm just so fired up about this. I am, you know, there's definitely going to be some trades this summer. There's definitely going to be people moving around. Um, I guess there's nothing really more to say. I'm just, look at this. Our, uh, all right. Well, the only thing to do now is look back and, uh, let's see. Let's, let's go to contracts. I want to see something real quick. I want to see who's leaving this year. All right, I'm, I'm making up my mind right now on camera who's going. Uh, centers, Anderson, he had a good first season. I'll give him that much. Uh, his first season in the NHL, he was good, especially for third line minutes. Well, he played second slash third line. Um, <sighs> Johansson has earned his paycheck. Fibula with a shorthanded goal. He's fine. He's not going anywhere. Um, Who just didn't carry their weight this year? Uh... From what I remember, Bruner kind of, yeah, he he did okay. I'm not gonna pin it on him. Uh, if Emerton is gonna cost me a crap ton of money, he's gonna get out of here. Let's see, Marchand, Ablocator, uh, again, again, was going. He was horrible in this playoffs. He's retiring anyways, and I am not gonna re-sign him, even if he wants to come back. I don't care personally. Uh, Eves, Eves did fine. He's been good for us the last couple of years. Defenseman, Cronwell, of course, is staying. Kendall might be on the block. We have, we have a, a wealth of upcoming defensemen here in Detroit. He's not doing what he's supposed to do. He's been injury, he was injury plagued this year. His point production's going down. You know, we've got DeKaiser, we've got Koliakovo. You know, we've got guys that can step up. DeKaiser is almost there. So much more point production out of him. It's just his plus minus went down. Koliakovo, his plus minus could have been better, but his point production went up, mind you. Um, we get Thomas Hickey, who had an outstanding year for us this year. He's making a strong candidate for a permanent spot on the team. Um, yeah, might even a contract extension, maybe, depending on how guys like Dehan and uh, Lashoff, how they kind of improve. All right, so right now, I'm not ready to give up on Detroit yet, you know. Oh, after this year, we need to get a contract extension. I'm leaving it right here. If we don't get a contract extension, oh, I'm pretty sure that we uh we turned that off. Dang it, huh? We probably should kept that on just for the sake of the series. But um, see, I don't know if this is working out with us in Detroit. I mean, but we have we've got great prospects. Howard's our goal to goaltender for the next couple of years. Mrazek, uh is doing. He's going to be a big player in our future, definitely. All right, so let's go right through, see who we can afford to keep, see who can afford to go. Um, upcoming centers. This is going to be a big one. We've got Ferrero, Tatar, and Sheehan. All three of those guys can play next year. I mean, Ferrero and Tatar would make most NHL teams already. Sheehan's right not far behind. And they both want contract extensions next year, and they're gonna want a crap ton of money. We got to keep that in mind. We need to trade, we need to clear space so that we can sign them. Uh left wingers. 
you know, Drew Miller, he's just, it doesn't matter. Uh, Anthony Mantha, if he really jumps up this year, same thing for Rachel. There was somebody in the comments that said Rachel gets up to a 90-something. And if that's the case, we're definitely keeping him around. So Mantha and Rachel are two huge prospects for us. And that means we need to, uh, you know, make space for them on the roster if need be. Yurko could come up this year. Uh, maybe even Polkinen, you know. Um, I mean, all these guys are good. Uh, well, Yurko and Polkinen specifically, they're getting a little on the older end of the spectrum. They're not turning out as well as I'd want them to. Defensemen, we have Sproul is a huge one. He's our biggest defensive prospect right now. Uh, then down in the minors, we really don't have a whole lot. McCollum's not too much of a big deal. So this is what I'm thinking, all right? So we're going to need spots for them. Uh, <sighs> Datsuk, he may retire Yeah, very, very soon here, which is, of course, not what I want to see, but he's going to retire next year, meaning we can't play him for now. We need to play him for the future. We need to see how much Johansson jumps up. If not, Krejci goes first line, second line, third line for Fopula. All right, Anderson will squeeze in somewhere. I'll work it out, all right? Um, on that note, I'm trying to be hopeful. I'm trying to look for the future. And uh, it all depends. Well, there might not even be a future for us in Detroit. I'm going to let you guys battle that out in the comments. I want to see comments, all right? You know, I, I love seeing your comments. It always makes my day when I see a comment, no matter what it's about. Uh, you could just, down in the comments, you could say something like, hi. And it, it would... It would you know, it, it always makes me happy to see comments. So, uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and tell me down in the comments, what do you guys want me to see? If you're like, eh, the Detroit series is getting a little stale, I'll move on. But if you guys want me to keep doing it and see what happens in the next couple of years, that is, if we get a contract extension, then I'll do it. Alright, so on that note, I will see you guys later. Peace out, homies.